Hello and welcome to today's video. On the workbench today we've got the uh, Nissan Leaf battery pack sniffer production prototype. I'll go ahead and turn it on here and you can see it boots up. And of course we don't actually have a uh, battery pack hooked up to it so it's just going to sit here and look for it and then reboot and yeah it'll just keep doing that. Uh, this is the production prototype, so I've got, I've marked down, you know, this is 300 thousandths, this is 375 thousandths, 600 thousandths on each side here. For the edges, for this box, um, you can see I uh, messed up there in the corner, but that's okay, nobody will have this one, this one's for me. And uh, that's because when you're, I did it on my mill, and or on my uh, lathe uh, horizontal end mill, and when it's in that mode, all the... Um, everything's reversed so normally you would rotate to go in take the bit towards the uh, whatever you're cutting and in this case when you're in horizontal end mill mode you're moving the piece and the bit stays still and that caused me to I got it backwards but anyways not a big deal uh, have that fixed but you can see the box gets cut out there got a couple notches here on the sides for um, the USB connector to come in and the uh, connector that goes out to the uh, battery pack. So that's pretty simple. And then the bottom half of the box gets notched as well for the uh, USB connector. But this is it. So I was able to uh, solder everything up and build it. And you can see the little 12 volt LED for the boost converter is up and running. And um, yeah, it looks like everything's working on it. Um going to go ahead and uh, do a time-lapse video building up the other ones, but uh, all the code uh, ported over because I, I changed the um, which uh, pins went where. But uh, yeah, it was pretty simple, all ported over, and uh, looks like it's all up and running. So yeah, it's a quick little update, and we're going to search forever because I don't have anything plugged in. And um, this can be plugged in, uh, it's just a C-grid connector to the, um, uh, that three printed connector that'll plug in the battery pack. Um, so I can make a older style for the Gen 1 battery packs. Uh, I've got the one for the Gen 2 battery packs and Gen 3 battery packs. I don't know if they have a different connector or not, but at this point it's just 12 volts ground and can high and can low coming out of here. So it's pretty simple. It could even plug into your OBD2 port if you needed it to and with the proper adapter. Um, you won't have this uh, connector on here. That's the programming connector uh, for me to do debugging and everything. Um, production ones won't have that populator because I could just plug in here and program it and then take it off and then put it all together. But um, yeah, looks pretty good. I think it came out pretty nice and uh, the only thing, uh, I don't know if you can see, let me see here, uh, it's probably hard to tell, but um, uh, the screws that go into here for these mounting bosses here, when that gets mounted in like this, uh, they're really close, so it's probably, the lighting's not too good, but uh, if I go this way, yeah, so see this screw right here? I had to notch the standoffs in order to fit to be able to get both of those in there simultaneously. Uh, just 440 screws. But yeah, other than that, it came out pretty good. And I am happy with it. So uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.